Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? We have to go to, to a key maker to make us a new key. Hold on just a minute. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 239 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in this beautiful little camp in the town of El Condor in Argentina. Whee! But this campsite is uh, not just for people, it's also for parrots because there's parrots everywhere. And actually this town houses the world's largest parrot colony on the sea cliffs that we went to see last night. There's like hundreds of them along the cliffs here. Wow. Which was absolutely spectacular. Absolutely amazing. And we got woken up this morning at about four o'clock by the lovely parrots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said that the couples um, have nests in the rocks but the juveniles that are single and ready to mingle, they just fly all around the town, causing havoc and making a lot of noise. But let me show you guys where we're gonna be heading today. So now we've got our awesome new GNC Rutas de la Argentina map from the petrol station yesterday, which I'm super happy about. So I've put our route from Uruguay, Buenos Aires, down the day before yesterday to uh, Colonel Pringles and then yesterday over to the other side through Bahia Blanca and to where we are right now in Balneiro El Condor and today we are going to be continuing on the three past Las Crutas down 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 through Puerto Madryn and then going on to the two out onto the Valdez Peninsula to camp at Puerto Piramides. The Valdez Peninsula is basically the Patagonian mecca for marine wildlife. The entire peninsula is a reserve and it's home to some crazy animals like elephant seals and sea lions and penguins and off the coast of the Valdez Peninsula there's um, nursing whales and orcas. It will be awesome to check this peninsula out tomorrow. But for today we have still a very long way to go. We have about 330 miles which is about 530 kilometers and we still have to pack up the tent. It's already nine o'clock so better hit the road let's go hi hey guys we just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys about our brand new youtube memberships program we just launched for the new year those who sign up will get access to an exclusive members only q a session once a month a chance to have a chat with us and ask us anything you like members will also get early access to our latest episode one week before anyone else does the first 30 people to sign up will also get an actual postcard sent to them from wherever we are at the time you sign up. An on the road memento from our trip. So that's it. If you've enjoyed our content over the past nine months of this journey so far, then it would be amazing if you could support us. Your membership will help us to pay for our rooms to edit, replace our ever breaking equipment, and maybe even get a hot meal on a rainy day. We've made four tiers of memberships, but everyone gets the same benefits. So join for however much you like. And as long as you support us, you'll be in for those extra special treats. If you'd like to join and become a member of our channel, then click the join button below to get started. Thanks so much guys and happy new year. Through the trees, around the eucalyptus, and ready to rock and roll. Four, five, six. Good morning. Good morgen, Schatzi. <laughs> Good morning, Schatzi Kotzi. Ready to hit the road? Yep. Let's do it. Bye bye. Peaceful camp. 
peaceful until 4 a.m. <laughs> when the juveniles came back from their parrot party. Anyway, you can't really be angry, you know. I think I'm really happy to be woken up by nice parrots. There's no way you can be mad at parrots. <laughs> no. No way. But it's really crazy because we did some research about this area here but yep. no one told us that here is the biggest colony of parrots in the world it seems like, like something that people should have mentioned yeah exactly i mean how amazing is that i mean yeah that's unbelievable so before we leave town i just want to have a quick look at the top of the cliffs look you can see parrots all around awesome It's lovely. Wow, look at this. So basically, these are the cliffs that we were at the bottom of last night. The parrots build their burrows all along this cliff here because the material is very soft. So they spend year after year as a breeding pair to basically dig out a burrow that they use the same burrow every year to to breed their chicks so they end up with these little caves and then you've got just thousands upon thousands of caves on this coastline apparently there are 37,000 breeding pairs of parrots on these cliffs and it stretches for kilometers and kilometers along crazy no magical. it's absolutely magical of course most of them aren't home at the moment they're all off Feeding. Their feeding grounds are actually inland and they feed on berries from bushes in the desert region of this peninsula. Apparently they can fly, I read online, hundreds of kilometers in a day looking for food because of course the increase in tourism, farmland and everything is decreasing their natural habitat so they're having to fly further and further and further. Uh, to find their berries and bring them back here. But what an incredible view for the morning, eh? And I don't know if you guys can see on the GoPro, but all of these birds that you can see flying around are green parrots, all of them. Magical, magical. Ah, oh, the birds are so nice. They're so nice. <laughs> flying around, having fun. Bye bye guys, look how they're all chilling on the <laughs> electricity lines, cool. Man, I love to see wildlife, it's just the best in the world. Here you can see like how remote this town is because if you see to the left, it's nothing. And then to the right, there's the town, you know. It was our third day riding south from Buenos Aires and we were now entering deep into an area called the Patagonian Desert or Patagonian Steppe. This vast eco-region covers the entire area east of the Andes Mountains and is the largest desert in Argentina and the 8th largest desert in the world, occupying 260,000 square miles. Miles that we would have to cross as we let the hum of our noble steed Bumblebee lead us down the 1,900 mile long Ruta National 3. This is a big place. Oh, 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 oh,
everybody! We haven't seen any people in such a long time. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? <laughs> Just taking a break in the middle of the Patagonian desert. It's really nice views around here. It's epic. And we've got 127 miles to go to reach the camp for tonight. This is a really, really big place. After our break, we pulled into a petrol station to fuel up before heading onto the Valdez Peninsula. But a slight lapse in concentration put us in a tricky situation as we accidentally put our tank bag on over the fuel cap with the key still in, bending it a full 90 degrees. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. All right. We're gonna get the flyers on it and try and straighten it out. Okay, so first, first this bit has to straighten out. First, we straighten that bit out. We have to go to, to a key maker to make us a new key. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Works. <laughs> Fixed it! It's a little bit bent but it works. <laughs> Feeling incredibly relieved, we hit the road for the final leg of our journey onto the Valdez Peninsula. Here we go. Officially turning onto the Valdez Peninsula. Penguins, we are coming! <laughs> Woohoo! So we have 50 miles onto this peninsula before we get to our camp, and it's already 5:30, so it's been a long day already. And we've just actually gone over 300 miles for the day, so it's another incredibly long day. But the important thing is that we got here, we got to the Valdez Peninsula and that means tomorrow is time to explore. Hola! Hola! Buenos dias! Thank you! 2,800 per person. 2,800 per person, okay. Gracias, thank you. Muchas gracias. 2,800 pesos entry per person. So that's about 14 pounds each. But anyway, it's worth it for the penguins. For the penguins! We just stopped in the visitor center at the beginning of the peninsula. And look what they have, look what they have. Whoa! A whole whale skeleton. Elephant seal. This is the skull of a killer whale, an orca. And apparently it's possible to see them on this peninsula hunting seals on the beach. But uh, I think we'll have to be really lucky if we were to see that. The lady at the desk told us that um, the high tide is the best time to see them hunting on the beach. And high tide tomorrow is at 8 a.m. And it's around a two hour gravel road ride to get there. So we're gonna have to get up really early tomorrow if we wanna see those. Here's all the animals that we can maybe see. Muchas gracias. Ciao, ciao. That's amazing. Hello guys. Oh, the oil went running off. <gasps> wow, he just jumped the fence. Incredible. Look how big they are. Beautiful creatures. Oh, look at this. The sign says, Bienvenidos a Puerto Piramides. 
That's awesome. Welcome to Puerto Piramides. What a location for a little town, hey? Wow. And what an entrance. It's just like, boom, welcome. I think this is the camping. Perfecto. Camping. Nice. Nice. So we can just choose uh, wherever. Okay. So just check it out. All right. Ride around and see. Wow, we must be just off the beach here. Wait, I can get out, it's okay. Okay, we won't go too much further then. <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive! <laughs> in this little camp in Puerto Piramides, we've made it onto the Valdez Peninsula. Yes, we built up our camp already. And I'm preparing our dinner. Couscous, aubergine, tomato. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, we're a little bit in a rush again. <laughs> Arriving here, the sun's setting really fast and we need to get to bed early to get up early tomorrow to see the orcas. Yes! Fingers crossed! <laughs> but it feels really good to have made it this far. Um, I really didn't know when we left Buenos Aires if it was possible to get here in three days. I mean, it's just under a thousand miles that we've covered in the last three days. A thousand miles. Yeah, yeah, a long way. We set a new record and then I think we even beat that record today. So <laughs> it's been a crazy ride, but we really just wanted to get down here and get to the good stuff. Yes. Which is coming up tomorrow. <laughs> so we did at the end 370 miles, which is about 580 kilometers pretty crazy and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time